I'm Rahul, and in this video, I'm, go I'm going to show you uh, to make a capacitor out of this MOS. That means the MOS will work as a capacitor. So how how it how to make it? I'll show you. So for this, uh, this is the symbol of MOS. So if I short a drain and source with together, so and body as well. So this one terminal is a and this one terminal become the terminal of the capacitor and this another terminal is the another terminal of capacitor and this gate capacitance. Uh, will come into picture. So this work as a capacitor now. So uh, how to calculate this capacitor? Like after making these connection, uh, you can add one resistor here with a known value, maybe hundred k, and you feed a AC signal to this. And uh, plot the AC analysis. Like uh, at this point, there is one pole. Okay, so the first pole will come at this point. So you will have a DK in the slope. So I'm going to plot the AC analysis, AC response of this. So it will come like this. So due to this capacitance, this pole will come. So I'll measure it at minus 3 dB. So, so it may be here. So this particular frequency, okay, so this is frequency axis and this is magnitude in dB. Okay, it's in decibel. So uh, this particular frequency, by using this particular frequency, we can calculate the value of capacitance. So this particular frequency, if I'm calling it F naught, so this F naught is nothing but one by two pi RC. R into C. So what are these R and C? Okay. So this R is uh, which you have placed and this C is the capacitance, this capacitor. So you know F0 by this plot, you know R because you have placed it. So only C is unknown. So you can easily calculate the value of C. So we will see how it works in simulation. So. So I'm accessing it remotely. Just taking some time. Yeah, it's open now. So CSH source blanket or CSH RC after ADK and let's go DAIC because we want to see it in schematic. So I'll make a new folder cap in that I'll create a new schematic cap. We'll just create so cap is there so in the, in the cap okay so uh, I'll select one and most from this library I'll connect it 
as I told you. Okay, and I place a register. So, so for the register, I will select the library. In library, uh, there is a device library in that uh, register. Is there. So, I will choose ideal one. So I place it here and change its value to 100k. Where is the value? Yeah, here I'll change it to 100k. Apply. Okay. I'll also size this MOS. So for the capacitor, I'm making it somewhat bigger. Like I'm keeping length is two and W is some um, ninety. Let's see. Okay, so now I connect these. Okay, so uh, I'll go to ADK library and place a probe here to provide it as a AC signal ok so I think I am ready for the analysis so simulation then you know these steps include dollar ADK technology C uh, model I'll add one eighty nanometer mm, in force like I employed an AC signal. So DC is zero, I'm not biasing this. So AC uh, say two hundred millivolt. Okay, point two volt. Fine. So but I have to choose the in first so now it is there so I can add it and for the output I want to plot and want to see my output at this point ok so now this net is here so i'll add it okay and in analysis i want to do ac analysis so i want to perform it for higher frequencies okay so now i can simulate it we have to check whether there is any error so i think there is no error yeah error is zero fine so now i plot it as i told you go to plot ac response so uh, what i want to plot actually uh, in my analysis I mentioned I want to see the output of this net 4 ok so I'll plot this net 4 oh god I think I did some mistake, so I have to see my schematic again. So, oh, I, I didn't make it ground. 
I have to add this crown thing here. Now I can simulate it. Simulation. Yeah, it is showing. So this is my magnitude plot with respect to frequency. So I'll remove this phase plot because I don't need this. I can leave it. Hmm. So F5. So the magnitude is minus 13 dB. So I want minus 3 dB frequency. So what I'll do, I'll set this to uh, approximately minus 17. It's approximately minus 14. So plus like minus 3, so it become minus 17. So this this one is showing its value. So I need it at minus seventeen. Okay, fine. This is fine. All right. So here I can measure the frequency. The frequency here is you can see this 10 megahertz. Okay, so now you can calculate the value of your capacitor. Okay, so it is uh, after calculation, it is coming around 1 picofarad. So you can replicate the same thing in your layout like uh, you can make the layout of a of a mos and you can connect these three terminal together and then make it ground and in a, another terminal like uh, these two terminal will act as a capacitor okay so this is one way to do this like you you will get the w and l value for a desired desired capacitor here and you can replicate it on your layout thing. Thank you.